farmer families who collaborate with Tipalga to protect forests can also join the beekeeping project. Bee houses are installed in the protected parcels of the respective partner. The honey farm offers an ideal line of business for farmers in the regrowing forests. Revenues from selling honey constitute an important additional income for these families. The Tipalga team trains interested farmers in modern beekeeping techniques. Theoretical as well as practical training ensures a sustainable model of working with the bees. The path to the beehives and the surroundings must be easily accessible and cleaned regularly. Participants learn how to make a hive. Copper wire is fixed to a frame in order to help bees build honeycombs. To attract the bees, a two centimeter wide strip of wax is produced and attached to the frame. Theory and practice alternate during the training. The future beekeeper can always ask questions. Participants receive important information about the life of bees and learn how to behave when monitoring the beehives. The future beekeepers practice how to approach the hive, how to open it safely, and how to control it from outside and inside. Tipalga assists with installing the hives in the forest area. In order to better attract the bees, it's advised to first place the hives in the branches of a tree. Once it's populated, the bee house is mounted on a metal structure. This way it's protected from termite attacks. It's important to monitor the hives from inside and outside regularly in order to know the state of the bee colony at any time. Monitoring also helps to recognize the best time for harvest in order to ensure a high honey yield. The correct positioning of the hive protects the entrance from wind. It's also important that the bees have access to water. Harvesting is done at night, when the bees are usually calm. The bees are then made even calmer with smoke. A bee suit protects from bee stings. Extracting honey should be done quietly, yet quickly, so as not to disturb the bees. Voilà, une très bonne surface, il n'y a pas de col. Alors, on peut s'attendre qu'à quelques productions. Et on voit bien l'épaisseur de ce cadre-là. The lid of each sealed and honey-filled honeycomb is separated and poured into different containers according to quality. After each harvest, the bees are shaken off the protecting suit to avoid mixing the colonies. Mm -hmm. 
The weight of the honey yielded is entered in an official form and given to the partners as a receipt. The beekeeper is paid according to the quantity and quality of his honey. The honey is then separated from the wax in Tipalga's processing facility. The extracted honey is filtered several times. After a maturation period and a final filtering process, the honey is filled into pots. High levels of hygiene are extremely important during the entire process in order to guarantee a high quality product. Each honey pot is weighed and labeled. The wax, an important byproduct, is either sold separately or used to be recycled in the new beehives. The final product is a floral honey, natural, fine and clean. It is highly esteemed by our clients. The owner of the beehive is paid according to the data entered into the harvest forms. Selling honey is an important source of income for the beekeepers. Okay, <laughs> Then I would